I decided to give it a shot. I'm going to try fixing my air compressor. You guys made some good arguments for and against fixing it. Uh, I decided to give it a try because I'm hoping I can get a little more life out of it while I'm shopping for a new air compressor. Another reason I decided to fix it is because I found a place selling the parts for a better price. I bought this piston and cylinder kit from Pacific Air Compressors and it cost me just over $40. This video will also show you how to replace the piston and the cylinder in an oil-free air compressor. And if you have not seen my other videos on this compressor, I'll put a link right up here in the top. When you're doing this job, it's recommended you replace the entire head kit with the reed valves and the gaskets and everything, but I decided to try to reuse my old stuff, and I'm glad I did. The reeds cleaned up really nicely, uh, the cylinder peeled off the gasket here with no damage at all. I was ready to cut a new gasket if this one ripped, but it looks fine. If you want detailed information on disassembling this compressor, check out my last two videos. For other brands of compressors, take off the cover, disconnect the exhaust tube, and remove both the head and cylinder. Since I decided to repair this, I wanted to give everything else a quick once over to make sure there were no obvious problems, especially in the motor. And I gotta say, everything looks good. There's no damage that I can see, none of the windings show any evidence of overheating or anything, and I popped out one of the brushes and there's plenty of material left. So I'm feeling pretty good about the potential lifespan of this motor after taking a closer look at it. I also took a close look at the drive belt. This is a ribbed belt like you'd see in an automotive application, and it looks good. There's no cracking or weather checking that I can see. The first step on reassembly is putting the piston back in place. Very carefully put it through that fan. You can see that I got a little bit ham-fisted and broke a piece off the fan blade here. Be a little more careful than I was. You can also fully remove the fan by taking off this metal clip. I didn't really feel like doing that, and for these purposes, this little broken piece will not make any difference. You need to make sure everything in the head is put back together in the right order. That includes all the reeds, the gaskets, and the new cylinder. Once you know how the head and the gaskets and everything should be oriented, you can start putting it back together. I'm going to put the cylinder back on first. I have the rest of the head and all the gaskets and everything assembled. I'll just put those back in place. Then make sure you have all the head bolts snugged down tight and evenly. Side note, check out these new stall villa wrenches I just got. I'll have more info on these in an upcoming video. After the compressor is reassembled, it needs a break-in period. Campbell Hausfeld recommends 30 minutes by opening the drain valve on the bottom and just letting it run. I'm going to do it differently since I haven't installed the exhaust tube yet. I'm just going to let it run like this. Just doing that break in, I already noticed some big differences. There is way more air coming out the exhaust port, which I guess is to be expected, but it's also vibrating far less than before. I'm going to hook the exhaust tube back up and we'll see how it performs. Guys, if you like these videos and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's important because more views and more subscribers gives me options for appealing flagged videos. Some of my videos have been improperly flagged recently, but I did not have enough views or subscribers, so the site would not even let me appeal the flagging.
It just shut down and it took six minutes to go from nothing to 125 PSI. It's going to take me a while to know if it was a mistake spending money to fix this, but I got to say that so far I am really happy with the results. It's vibrating way less than before and that's going to hopefully keep my new exhaust tube and my new bracket from breaking like they did before. Thanks for those of you who watched these videos and commented. I'm going to let you know how this turns out.